everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And with the somewhat complicated software and equipment that we use in astrophotography, I'm pretty happy to bring you something actually very simple to do. And that is connecting your ZWO electronic filter wheel to Mina. Now, I briefly touched base on this in my ZWO filter wheel uh, assembly video. And I haven't gotten any questions yet, but I want to get ahead of the ball and just show you exactly what I was talking about. I did mention that as of right now, there is no driver download necessary. Now, with that said, always check the manufacturer's website, no matter what you get, just to make sure that you have the latest information. Just because there's no driver download necessary right now, doesn't mean that there won't be one in the future. So let's jump onto my computer and let me show you where to find that information and exactly what I'm talking about. So what you're going to do is open up your favorite web browser and go to google.com. What we'll do, we'll just type in ZWO and astronomyimagingcamera.com. So we'll click here. And what we're going to do, let's exit out of this disclaimer. We're going to go to support software. And when this loads, what you're going to see is camera driver, ASI studio and ASCOM driver. And under camera driver, you'll notice attention USB HID devices such as electronic filter wheel and electronic autofocuser do not require native drivers. Now, if you're using an AM5 or AM3 mount and uh, you have Windows 7, you'll need to contact them for the driver. But for the sake of this video, we're talking about the electronic filter wheel. As of right now, we do not need a driver. But again, always make sure to check this website if you get a ZWO electronic filter wheel or a ZWO electronic autofocuser to make sure that you truly don't need a driver just in case one comes out later in the future. So when you plug in your electronic filter wheel and you go to Nina, what you're gonna do is go to the equipment tab, filter wheel, you'll go into this little drop down menu, find the ZWO filter wheel, okay? And what you'll do is you'll just choose the ZWO filter wheel and you'll hit the power button. Now, you might run into an issue where it'll pop up an error for the ASCOM. And I had that happen the first time. And what I ended up doing, let me close out of the filter wheel. I just clicked on the little settings button right here. And it popped up the, um, the ZWO settings. And I just made sure that everything here was looking good. Hit OK rechose the filter wheel and hit the power button. Probably just a little system glitch that may or may not happen to you. Um, I noticed that happens with Pegasus Astro sometimes, um, especially when you're first loading them into Nina, you'll have to go into settings. So it brings up the utility platform and then you choose, um, you know, your, your uh, flat field panel or whatever piece of equipment that you're using from Pegasus Astro. Uh, rotator, you know, what have you. Um, but if you initially choose the ZWO filter wheel, hit the connect button and it throws an error, just go ahead and hit the settings. Just make sure everything's looking good. Hit OK, re-choose the filter wheel and then hit the power button and you should be good to go. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor, hit that channel icon that popped up and subscribe. Um, I don't want you to miss out on any uh, upcoming information or content. We got a lot of stuff planned out. Throw a comment in the comment section. Uh, are you using an electronic filter wheel? Uh, if so, are you using ZWO, Pegasus Astro, and how do you like it? And then check out the next video. Until the next time, clear skies.